Hey guys, this is Charles Jaeger with Jaeger Film. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest way to create a planet in After Effects with no third-party plugins required. You will need After Effects CC 2018 or later, and we will be using the CC Sphere Effect and the VR Fractal Noise Effect. Let's jump into it. Alright, inside of After Effects, I'm just going to create a new composition. I'll just use an HD composition and go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to right-click over here and I'm going to create a new solid. And this is very important for the size of the solid. I need it to be 4096 by 2048. The importance of this is it needs to be a 2 to 1 aspect ratio. You'll see that right here. It says 2 to 1. And I'll just call this planet. And click OK. Now with that layer selected, I'm going to go here and type in the effects and presets. I'm going to type in VR. And I'm going to select the VR fractal noise effect. And just drag and drop that on there. Now it may be a little difficult to see the planet right now, but we don't need to worry about that just yet. Now I want to apply the tint effect to this. I'm just going to drag and drop the tint effect on there as well. So we have both of those. And now I need to apply the CC sphere effect. And I'm just going to drag and drop that on there as well. Now we can start to see the planet appearing. And on the CC sphere options here for the radius, I'm just going to increase this so we can see it. And now we can kind of see the planet starting to take shape. And you can adjust the fractal noise effects here to get different surfaces on your planet. And so I'm going to come down here to the tint effect we applied and I can change the color of the planet. So I'm just going to select this and I'm going to make this a kind of like an ice planet. I can change the color of each of those. So now we kind of see how that looks. And under the CC sphere effect here, I can go ahead under rotation and I can rotate the planet. And we can see it doesn't have any seam lines and everything looks good on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to come down here to the light options here. And I can adjust the light height to change like how the light looks on the planet and the direction. And what I'm going to do next under the shading is I'm going to adjust the ambient and bring that all the way down to zero. That's going to give you the most realistic results for the planet's surface. And then for the specular, I'm going to set this to be 50. That's just kind of a personal preference there. And for the roughness, I'm going to set it to be 0.25. Again, that's a personal preference and you can set that to whatever you wish. I definitely recommend adjusting everything up here in the fractal noise though to get various looks on the planet. So if you want to stop right now, you can go ahead and stop and you've kind of created your planet look. However, I want to show you how to create a cool atmospheric glow around the planet very quickly here. So what I'm going to come down here to do is I'm going to select that planet layer and I'm going to come up here to layer and then pre-compose. And I'm just going to select move all attributes into a new composition and just leave it named planet comp one and click OK. So now I've got that planet comp right here. So I need to duplicate that two times. So with that selected, I'm going to come up here to edit and then duplicate and then edit and duplicate. So now we have three copies. On the middle copy, I'm going to select it and I'm going to add an effect, which is going to be CC radial fast blur. You'll see that CC radial fast blur. I'm going to select it, apply it to the middle copy. And you'll start to see a little bit of atmospheric glow appearing on the planet. I'll increase this just a little bit. And I'm going to set the blending mode here to be in add mode. If you don't see that, just hit F4 on the keyboard and that'll toggle that up. Now for the final planet copy down here, I'm just going to add a fast box blur. I'm going to select that and just apply it. And I'm just going to increase the blur radius here and that's going to give us a little bit more kind of that atmospheric glow around the planet. And if you want to, for good measure, you can duplicate the one in the middle here again. Edit, duplicate, and that'll give you even more glow and you can just adjust you know, the amount level here. All right guys, hopefully you picked up a few tips for creating a planet very quickly in After Effects. If you enjoyed this tutorial and wanna dive even deeper into creating kind of cool planets in After Effects, make sure you check out the tutorial I did for Metal and their Mantra VR plugin for creating planet textures. I'll have a link for that tutorial in the description of this video. All right guys, this has been Charles Jaeger. Thanks for watching.